In this video, we're going to be taking a look at setting up an Alesis Multimix 8 USB mixer for virtual fitness instruction streaming and video recording. So the first thing we're going to do is plug in the power cord and the USB cable. These go into the back of the mixer. Once the USB cable is connected, we're going to get the other end of the cable, which is a USB type A, and connect that into the computer. This can also be connected into an iOS or an Android device if you have the right adapters. Next, we're going to connect your wireless microphone receiver into the first channel on the mixer. Either connect it to the three pin jack, which is called an XLR, or into the quarter inch jack, labeled line. Next, we're going to be connecting the music player, and that can be an iPod, a phone, laptop, or something else with a headphone jack. This cable has two connectors on it, and those are quarter inch. We're going to connect those into channel 5-6. So there's one on jack 5 and one on jack 6. This is called a 3.5 millimeter, eighth inch, or sometimes a mini connector. That's going to connect into the headphone jack of your music playing device. Next, we're going to connect the cable to the aux send jack. That's going to be used to send signal out to speakers or a sound system in the room. That's going to be a quarter inch connector. And you notice that there is a tip and a sleeve and only one black ring around it. So it's called a tip sleeve quarter inch cable. That connects to the aux send jack and the other end of the cable is going to be one of two things. Typically, it'll be an RCA pair. The color coding is not important. The important thing is that your sound system or speaker has an RCA input. Now, if your sound system or speaker only has a 3.5 millimeter input, we'll go ahead and use that. The other end of the cable will still be quarter inch from the aux send jack. Connect that into your speaker or sound system. The first row of knobs on the mixer is only going to control the microphone because that's what's plugged into channel one. It will not affect music in any way. Now looking over at channel five, six, since we've got the music player plugged in there, that row of knobs will affect only the music. The white knobs across the bottom of the mixer control the signal going into your video stream or computer. The red aux pre knobs affect the sound going through the aux send jack out into the speakers or sound system in the room. So we're going to start with the main mix knob and turn it up to the noon position. That affects the overall blend of music and voice going into your video or stream. We're going to turn up the level knob about halfway on channel one and then while talking into the microphone, slowly bring up the gain dial until you get a good level of voice into your computer or device. There will typically be a meter that you can watch to make sure that the level is good. Your music volume will be on the white level knob labeled 5-6. Next, we're going to adjust the sound levels going into the speakers or sound system in the room. Now on channel one, we can leave this down because we don't want microphone going to the speakers in the room. But we want to turn up the aux send on 5-6 because that will give us music into the speakers. So just turn that up until you get a good level of playback. Again, the white knobs affect the volume of sound going into your stream, while the red aux pre knobs only affect music going to the speakers in the room. To avoid feedback, we usually keep the aux send on the microphone channel turned down. But if you need to, you can go ahead and turn up the aux send on channel one to get a little bit of microphone going into the speakers of the room. Too much of that could cause feedback, so we usually leave it all the way down and just have music playing back through those speakers. 
you'll notice we haven't touched anything on row two, three, four, or seven, eight on the mixer. That's because we don't have anything plugged into those channels. So those rows of knobs won't do anything in this setup. The effects return and aux return knobs, the phones knob and the monitor knob should all be left alone as they will not affect anything in this setup.